first segment is all about the organization. Chamber music is this magical art form. Chamber music is music making, and by extension, I think also music listening. The Chamber Music Society of Detroit is a presenter of chamber music. But more than that, we're an audience that loves chamber music. What we bring to Detroit is concerts of great chamber music. You know, year after year, bringing in all of these world-renowned artists and chamber ensembles for people to enjoy. And you know, I think it's a great contribution to the community. And we have a, a loyal core audience that has been coming to our series for decades. This is not high society, it's just, it's a group of friends. Um, that society came together from the Central European immigrants who settled in the middle of Detroit, led in, originally by Karl Haas. They came to a way of listening to music together that fed their own sort of musical souls beautifully but it also fe it fed back to the musicians. And then when Tiny Conoco, the second president, took over, he developed very close relationships with the top ensembles of the day. And then our third president, Lois Besnos, uh, came along and she really professionalized the organization. And I'm determined that, that my, my stamp as fourth president <laughs> Is, is gonna be the, the blowing the doors wide open and sharing that as broadly as possible, but without changing that, that nature of, of really loving the music for its own sake. In chamber music, there is no conductor. One, one person will do it one way, and then spontaneously, the next person with it will do it slightly different, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. The third person will, will follow that lead, and the fourth person may complete it by, by dropping off entirely or by saying, no, we'll do it this way. And that kind of interpretive, spontaneous innovation, if you will, even though the notes are prescribed, but the way you play them is not, especially in the minute details. Then uh, there is this interpretive evolution that the audience gets to see in real time. And that's one of the things that makes chamber music especially magical when it's live. There's a chemistry that happens with the players on stage. In the case of the Montrose Trio, uh, we've worked together for a long time. My colleagues, Martin and Clive, also played together in the Tokyo String Quartet for a long, very long time. So we have a, a, an innate understanding of how to listen to each other and play music with each other and connect and, and converse and all the great things that happen. And I think for the audience, they feel like they become part of the conversation. When you come and hear a performance, even like the one tonight, the Mendelssohn's C minor trio, you have an opportunity not just to hear it and experience it, but in a sense to master it, master the listening of it. Here in Detroit, we know that we have extremely dedicated music lovers. The audience is uh, wonderfully warm and receptive and, I would say, knowledgeable and, and cultured. So uh, when you play here, uh, you're always received warmly and uh, you, know, you, you can feel that from the stage, even the minute that you walk on. To me, that is a great advert for Detroit. Uh, the quality of the audience and, and the vision of the, of the leaders here and the fact that it's been around for 75 years and, and has flourished for so, for so long. We are dealing with incredible masterworks of repertoire. Uh, in this program to celebrate the Chamber Music Society of Detroit, we're playing a, a huge trio by Felix Mendelssohn, big romantic work, and another very big romantic work, the trio by Tchaikovsky. It's the only significant chamber music work that Tchaikovsky wrote, and it happens to be the work that was played at, on the second half of the very first concert of the Chamber Music Society of Detroit 75 years ago. So we thought we have to play that piece to celebrate this.
It's a huge honor uh, for me personally and for the Montrose Trio as a group to be playing this opening concert for the 75th anniversary season. It's just a huge milestone, 75 years, and um, how we're celebrating it. So with a stellar lineup of you know, artists and programs with the launch of two new series, which is a pretty major undertaking um, in Gross Point and in Canton. Live performance is more than just the person on the stage. It's, it's a two-way street, and the, the kind of interaction that's modeled in that relationship and has been for 75 years is, is absolutely magical, but it's very, very special at the Chamber of Music Society of Detroit. You can learn more about Chamber Music Society Detroit as well as all the artists that we feature on DetroitPerforms.org.